Today we want to look at what happens when we multiply. Let's say I've got four ones, and I want to multiply those four ones times three. Well, what I'm really doing is counting by fours three times. Four, eight, and twelve. Well, when I look at that, I say, hmm, I can always regroup, because we know any time that I get ten ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and more than ten ones, I can regroup that. I can take these ten ones, make them one ten. And so what I see then is 3 times 4 is, or 4 times 3 is 12. 1, 10, and 2, 1's. That's how we regroup when we multiply. If we were to look at the same thing with 10's, it'll be a little... We saw how when we multiplied by 1's, we could regroup the more than 10 ones we had into one group of 10's. The same thing can happen when we multiply 10's. We have 6 10's here, which is 60. And if you want to think about multiplying six tens by two, that'd be like counting by sixty twice. So we multiply six tens by two. Okay, now we see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve tens, or hundred and twenty. So we think about that. We can take these ten of these tens, and we can make those one hundred. Take those away, and now we have 100 and two tens, zero ones, we would have 120, 102 tens. So we're just doing the exchange. So what happens then if we have a very large number? Let's say we want to multiply 45 times three. We have four tens and three ones. Well, we're gonna start off by multiplying our, three one, our, our five ones by three. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. What we have here is fifteen ones. Now again, we know we can exchange ten of them for one ten. So we're going to go ahead and do that. There's one ten we're going to add to our tens in a minute. So we have five ones, one ten. Now we're going to multiply these four tens by three as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12 tens, plus the one ten that we had left over. So we have 13 tens here. But again, we can take 10 of these tens and exchange them for 100. So it leaves us with 3 tens and 100. So 45 times 3 would be 130 ten, or 3 tens, 5 ones, 135. Now that's not how most people do multiplication, but that's what's happening when we multiply and exchange. Now let's take a look at what the regular algorithm would be for doing same or similar problems. Here's the same problem we worked using just our, our uh, place value chart and, and place value pieces, 45 times 3. We're going to work at this at a couple different algorithms. Now, algorithm is one of those great math words. It simply means way to solve the problem. So an algorithm is just the way we choose to solve the problem. I can look at this problem in a couple different ways. I can look at this and go, oh, 45 is the same as 40 plus 5. Okay. I can see that. Well, then, if I have 40 plus 5, and that's all times 3, 
I can look at this and think, well, that's 40 times 3 plus 5 times 3. That's one way of solving this problem. I know 5 times 3 is a math fact. That's 15. And I know that 4 times 3 is a math fact, 12. And four times, so 40 times 3 is going to look a lot like that. Hmm, got a 0. That's going to be 120. Then I can add those two together, and I can get 135. That's one algorithm, or one way to solve a problem like this. It's not how most of us solve a multiplication problem, though. Most of the time, we look at a multiplication problem, we go, hmm, 3 times 5, well, that's 15. But I'm going to exchange now, just like I did with my, frac or with my number pieces on my uh, place value chart. I'm going to take that 1 up there to the top, that's the 110 left over when I multiplied, right? 15 is 5 ones and 110. Now I multiply 3 times 4, but I'm really multiplying 3 times 40. It's in that tens place value. So 3 times 4 is 12, plus the 110 is 135 tens, or 113 tens, or 135 altogether. So these are the types of algorithms we do. We're going to practice a few more of these using the standard algorithm for multiplication. Here we see the problem 2,476 times 5. Again, I can think about that kind of in its expanded form where I write it out in place value as 2,000 times 5 plus 400 times 5 plus 70 times 5 plus 6 times 5. Well, 2,000 times 5 is 10,000. 400 times 5 would be 2,000. 70 times 5 would be 350. And 6 times 5 would be 30. Then I could just add that all up. I would get 12,380. Now again, that's not the standard algorithm. The standard algorithm would say we would multiply 5 times 6, which is 30. We see that right here. We're going to carry that 3 that's in the tens place above the 7. 5 times 7 is 35. Then we would go ahead and add the 3 tens that are left over. That would be 38. Well, we got the 35, but that's also 70. So 35, and we would carry that 3 again. There's our 8 in the tens place, matches up. 5 times 4, that's really 5 times 400, but 5 times 4 we think of as 20. Okay, so 5 times 400, we see 2,000, plus the 3 more hundreds that are there, 3. There's our 3 in the hundreds place here, 3 in the hundreds place here. That matches up. I carry the two left over, 23. There's two extra thousands. Five times two is 10, plus two more thousands would be 12 in the thousands place, 12,380. Doing it by the standard algorithm is the quickest way most of us know how to do this. This is another way we can go back and check our work, and it's what's really happening when we multiply. Let's do two or three more just standard algorithm to get practice. Here we have three problems that we're going to solve standard algorithm, the standard way we multiply a one digit number by a larger number. We're going to start here with 1026 times 8. 8 times 6 is 48. So we have an 8 that's going to go in the ones place, and we're going to carry those four tens above the two in the tens place. 8 times 2 in the tens place would be 16. So we have 16 tens plus 4 more tens would be 20 tens. So a 0 in the tens place and the 2 hundreds that carry over. <clears throat> 8 times 0 hundreds would be 0 plus the 2 extra hundreds we carried over would be 2 in the hundreds place and 8 times 1 in the thousands place would be 8. So we get 8,208. 
we take a look at 4,176 times 5, we start by multiplying 5 times 6. 5 times 6 is 30. It's a 0 in the 1's place and a 3 in the 10's. 7 times 5 is 35, plus 3 more 10's would make 38 10's. An 8 in the 10's place, and we carry those 300's over. 5 times 1 is 5 in the 100's place, plus 3 more makes 8 hundreds. And then 5 times 4 in the 1,000's place would be 20,000. So our answer is 20,880. Last problem we're going to work, 6,139 times 9. We know 9 times 9 is 81. We put the 1 in the 1's place. Okay, those 8 tens over above the tens. 9 times 3 is 27. Plus 8 more would make 35. So we have 35 tens. 5 in the tens place. Carry those 3 over into the hundreds place. 9 times 1 is 9. Plus 3 uh, <clears throat> makes for 12. 12 in the hundreds place, we put a 2 here, carry the 1 over. 9 times 6, 54, plus 1 makes for 55. So our final answer is 55,251. This is multiplication by the standard algorithm. 